Hey guys, welcome and hi again. It's been about, I would say, two months or so since I've posted anything and I wanted to just kind of give you a little rundown on what's been happening. Nothing negative, of course. So, I made it to eight years post-transplant on September 1st. Yay me! It's a really proud moment for me because with my first kidney transplant, I only made it to four years. So, this is a very proud moment. I've been doing super excellent with this second transplant and I don't want to ruin it. Why? Because, well, nobody likes dialysis. Uh, I don't care what anyone says. Dialysis is horrific, time consuming, exhausting, simply 100% not fun. But you know, we do it because it's survival. It's what's keeping us continuing on in life. So yeah. Now, honestly, as I've mentioned in my previous posts, I've only been on dialysis for three months. Whereas I know people who've been on it for years and years and years. So yeah, I was lucky, but it doesn't mean that I didn't have the experience, but I did. I did. I really did. You know, see, this is my fistula to prove it. It's not as big as I've seen many people, but you know what? It's still noticeable. It's still there. It's something that people still approach me until this very day and ask, what is that? Or I've had a few number of people actually tell me, wow, you have a fistula. And those are the moments that put me in shock because, you know, many people don't know about it. So I start having a conversation with the person and they start asking me about the kidneys and stuff. And, you know, it just brings me back to that time period and all the stuff I did wrong to myself, how I wasn't taking care of myself or taking my health seriously. And now I most definitely do. So that's why I'm saying that I'm very proud to have be eight years post with the first transplant I was only four years and then it failed that was actually my fault you know I wasn't taking my medication very seriously I felt like I was invincible made out of steel I would tell people all the time and now it's just not like that anymore now I really try my best to take it seriously like an example would be, like, let's say I'm just driving to work and I realize I didn't take my medication. Yeah, I'm going to be late for work. I'm going to turn around, go home, take my medication, and then go to work. And I'm sorry, but my health comes first. Fire me. My health, my health comes first. Fire me all you want, but I'm going to take my medication. Now, back then with the first transplant, if I would, let's say, do the same thing, you know, go to work, I would go to work and not even think twice. I would think to myself, like, I'll be okay, but that's not how it works, people. So for those of you who have kidney transplants, do not miss your medication. And if you feel like you are, you better go back and take it because it's no joke. All right, that's how my first transplant felt. Plus, I was also drinking a little too much. I can't say that I don't drink now because I do, but it's very sparingly. I, I'll i drink a glass of wine here and there, but then I would, no matter what, I drink one glass, a sip, nothing, anything, whatever. I, I drink a whole load of water when I'm done. Because you know what, guys? Alcohol dehydrates you. So take it serious. And if you're dehydrating your organs, then you're obviously going to cause damage to them. So drink, 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 drink water. Water, 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 water. I mean, that's all I really drink every day. I either drink coffee, which I do drink coffee often. But I'm always on water. I don't drink soda. I don't drink juice. For me, those are completely unnecessary. I mean, yeah, alcohol is unnecessary as well. But wine has benefits. And I love red wine in particular. Especially Riscato. That has benefits to it. So if I wanted to have a social drink, I will do it with my family. But just one glass of wine, I try not to bypass that. As a matter of fact, sometimes I don't even drink a glass of wine. Sometimes I drink like a quarter of a glass or half a glass. I'm just, I'm not about that. So I don't really try to do much of that. Anyway, eight years post, my next official 
appointment with the doctor is in early December. So that's coming up. My last appointment was just to get blood work done and they never called me. So, you know, when they don't give you a call, that means you're totally fine. So I'm good. My creatinine levels have been between 0 0.9 and 1.1. So I'd say that's a good thing. Uh, I feel good. I have no complaints other than probably fatigue. But who isn't tired? I mean, it's not like I work a lot. I don't. But I don't know. I'm a 24-7 mom. So that can incorporate and so incorporate itself to the exhaustion I feel. But I've also heard that um, it's common for any transplant recipients to feel tired for no reason whatsoever. So I would also blame it on that. And that's about it. Um, aside from that, I don't know what it is. I have a tan. And it's just because I was in corner for ACE, so I took an edge of that blade. It was like it was 80 degree weather over there, and I live in New York, so it's it cold now. Um, so we left, uh, the weather in New York wasn't bad, but returning to New York, from 80 degrees to 40, it's crazy. I think you know, there's just a, there's, it also makes me not move up to the floor, which is what I'm going to do. People are also totally not very safe. Yeah.